As part of the Daylight Lab at the UC Berkeley Center for Long-Term Cybersecurity, my research partners and I are extremely excited to present to you our second technical project in our Machine Learning Failures module. Often, companies automate decision-making processes in order to avoid human bias. However, if training data exhibits human bias due to past decisions made by humans, well, the model will learn these biases and carry them forward when it's used to make decisions in the future. In this lab, we will learn how to find evidence of bias in data. As an example case study, we'll take a look at an imaginary lending agency looking to automate its loan approval process. The social significance of our analysis lies in the certain sensitive traits the agency uses in order to determine whether or not an individual's loan will be approved. These traits include, but aren't limited to, the applicant's gender and marital status. Now, one key detail I failed to mention earlier is that this agency is in the business of home loan approvals. Consequently, any underlying biases that exist in the company's home loan approval process could result in algorithmic redlining, which would be a violation of the 1968 Fair Housing Act. In this lab, students will apply statistical methods to quantify the impact of potential sources of bias in observational data, discuss and evaluate the variability of the estimated impacts, and discuss and evaluate frameworks for identifying bias how fairness is defined in a particular social and legal context. You can download this lab at daylight.berkeley.edu slash mlfailures and work through the exercises yourself. In the lab, there is a link to Google Form for any feedback you may have on how we can improve the material. Thank you for listening, and we hope you enjoy the lab.